So he's very versatile, so he can get all sorts of jobs. And that's what you got to do, too, and think outside the box. And that just helps you to get more opportunities to win. I'm on a journey to create the greatest movie experience in the world. While I'm carving out my filmmaking entrepreneurial path, I want to help you create yours. Let's make some movies. Hello everyone, James Martin here, helping you filmmakers not only make your movies even better, but also to help you with your careers. And speaking of careers, in today's video, I want to share with you how you can actually start making money, even as of right now. And I got an upgrade. Oh? I am now level 2 marksmanship. Nice! Yes, and it's recording right now. Hi YouTube. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> like one of the things that I really firmly believe in is I know a lot of filmmakers that like to wait on other producers to hire them, other companies to hire them out. Instead of doing that, you should be more in control of what you do. And as much as you kind of have to depend on other people because they are the ones that have to give you the money, there are some ways where you can take much more control of your career, much more control over your life, so that it's not necessarily in the hands and you're independent of someone else to provide you with that work. Right now, these tips should really help you out. You can start implementing them right away and maybe even give you a few ideas. So the first thing I recommend is if you have a movie, consider selling it. Either sell it like on DVD, maybe even doing a screening. Now, the key thing I want you to remember is you gotta think about the entertainment value. Sell it on DVD, do like a premiere. But whatever movies you have right now, use that to your advantage. Even short films, I highly recommend. Second thing you could be doing is creating online content. When you create online content, you get on the social media platforms, that becomes your channel. Not yours in the sense that you own it, but it becomes a platform and videos that you can use to your advantage. You can get sponsorship, do affiliate marketing. You can do all sorts of things to raise money. Now keep in mind that this is a long term. You're not gonna start making money as of this weekend, but what you can start looking forward to is you start developing your videos on a weekly basis. It could be tips, it could be vlogs, it could be entertainment. And then after a while, you'll start making that money. You can make money while you're asleep or while you're on vacation. So there's some really big benefits there. Third thing I recommend is become a videographer and create content for other businesses. We're talking about commercials, web content, masterclass or course. Maybe you're working with an entrepreneur that's speaking or you have an artist that's doing some sort of a show or performance. Do whatever you can to just serve businesses and serve clients using whatever you have. Use a camera or if you're an editor, use either partner up with another cameraman or grab your own camera and shoot some other videos. But I've run a videography company for over two years. I've also done videography for 10 plus years and it really does benefit. It's just, it's a nice little income on the side. Keep in mind that it is more corporate, not as much artistic. The fourth thing that you can start doing, and this is something that I just recently discovered for myself, is you could actually rent out your equipment. If you have cameras or especially lighting, you know, these are huge because there are businesses and entrepreneurs and even other artists that might want to rent your stuff to use on their projects. And it's great because you essentially don't have to do anything aside from maintenance, but essentially as soon as they take your equipment, that's it. And then you make that money back. Now there are high risks involved, such as if it's damaged, lost, or stolen, that's huge because then you gotta replace them. But I mean, if you can have some sort of nice system, like maybe you have a couple copies or you have really good insurance, so that way it's not a huge loss for you. I'd also highly recommend to create packages like rental packages for businesses and entrepreneurs. And the reason I say that is because in my experience, I found that business owners and entrepreneurs act way more professional and are way more caring with your stuff than most artists. And the fifth thing, again, I'm not a huge fan of it, but if you really want to, the fifth way you can make money is to get hired out. Now, this takes a lot of effort because you gotta network, you gotta go to those filmmaking networking events, get to know as many people as possible and really think outside the box. So get to know directors, producers, but also get to know cinematographers, editors, colorists, sound guys, the whole shebang. And try and be very diverse with skills and talent. I know this one guy, so he's very versatile so we can get all sorts of jobs. And that's what you gotta do too and think outside the box. Often I've done first assistant directing, 
I've done management, I've done producing, co-producing, and that just helps you to get more opportunities to work. All right, so I hope that helped you out. And if it did, please smash the like button and subscribe because I have videos coming out every single week to help you guys to succeed. So let me know what was the most important piece of advice that you learned from this video and if you have any other suggestions on how filmmakers can make money, even something as soon as this weekend, because every month, every penny helps. All right, so good luck with everything and I will see you next time.